I have had my heart broken and um, I think that it is nice to kind of write about it because I think that it kind of gets it off your chest a little bit as well. And I think it comes, better songs come from the heart, do you know what I mean? So I think it's always nice to write about past relationships. And obviously there was a lot of rumours going around that you were like having a date with Frankie Cocosa and Niall <laughs> from One Direction. Yeah. Are these all rumours or, you know, you was know there what? something going on between you and Frankie maybe? No. <laughs> It's Frankie, let's be, let's be honest, he's not boyfriend material. Um, <laughs> um, I was very, very good friends with Frankie and I still am to this day. Um, I've always got on with boys a lot better than girls. I grew up with two older brothers. So when I met Frankie, I was like, oh God, he, he just reminded me of all my friends back home. And I just got on with him really well. And neither of us could cook and we'd always had everything done for us. So we had quite a lot in common. So that's how we became really good friends. And well, Niall from One Direction, I don't know how this story came out. Basically, I spoke to him once at the X Factor and that was it. So I they like you're dating. That's the whole it, thing was blown out of proportion. but. I just find it quite funny.